This is going to be a major part of the testing of the three uh, jackets that I'm testing. Um, we've got a nice rainy day out here in Portland. It's 40 degrees. Um, it's got a, we've got a good medium steady rain for the day. So I'm going to go for about 45 minute uh, really uh, intense walks. See if I can sweat up pretty good and overwhelm the Gore-Tex, especially on the Nano AS, which doesn't have pit zips. Um, I'm going to see if that can overwhelm the Gore-Tex on that. And I'm not going to use the pit zips on the Artemis when I, or the Spectra when I use it to kind of see what happens with the Nano Pro to see if I can overwhelm those also. So you can see here I'm wearing kind of a, a base layer. I've just got this base layer thin uh, Polar Tech fabric and then my, my trusty Marmot Dry Climb that I love so much. Uh, I get a lot of vapor, moisture vapor transport out of this. It's really excellent. So I can tell out here at the end of an intense walk um, if I've overwhelmed the Gore-Tex or the Nano Pro coating, I'll get some, some sweat and stuff up here. So we'll check it out and uh, see what happens when I get back. This is the Artemis and I am 22 minutes into my walk. I definitely came up with a big hill quite a bit sweat. Um, you see that the water's eating off pretty well, but you can see here on the shoulder it's starting to wet out after about 16 minutes. Uh, I've been I've used this for used the Artemis for about a week or so um, with my daily commute, and I've got a sling pack, so that's you can see this is not wetting out here, not really, and this is here. So after a week of wear with a with a pack strap on it. The DWR is wearing off, so that doesn't give me a whole lot of confidence, I think. Um, the, because of the soft fabric, soft stretchy fabric on the Artemis, this hood really conforms and follows my face nicely, and the moldable brim is really good also. So, I'm working up with pretty good sweat, so I'm going to keep going and, yeah, see? <laughs> and see what I look like. Sorry for the cars. See what I look like after the whole walk. So it's about uh, 36 minutes into the walk, and about two thirds done, about two and a quarter miles. Uh, I've been gasping and sweating up some of these hills here. Uh, it's been a fantastic day. I'm sweating underneath this thing. Um, I'm getting just, I don't know if I can get that, just slight little patches of wetting out on this. And uh, I guess I'm not too happy about that. Like, see the, some of the edges, the brim? And, for example, the, the cuffs, I've noticed that before on some of these, the cuffs start to wet out a bit. But uh, I'm giving this a good workout, so when I get back, I will um, peel myself open for the camera. And you can see if I've got a lot of uh, sweat spots, how I've overwhelmed the uh, Nano Pro membrane in the Artemis jacket. So it's been about, a, about 60 minutes trip, about 3.53 miles. I'm going to upload the track onto my blog, uh, adventuresinbackpacking.blogspot.com, and I'm going to upload the trip data, like the, the, the trip route, the altitude information, and uh, pacing, and heart rate, and things like that. So we'll have something to compare them. Um, and I've no so I've noticed, like I showed before, I've noticed that I've got a little bit of wetting out here, if you can see it. So the wetting out here, that's because I've been wearing this for a week with my pack strap here. But uh, I've got a little bit of cuff wetting. I've got a little bit of wetting out here. Um, so I'm going to peel off. I sealed myself in pretty good. I closed the zips because I want all the jackets to have the same conditions to see what it looks like to, to overwhelm the, the breathability. So I sealed up the bottom also. So I'm going to kind of take this all off and see if we can find out how much, uh, how much sweating I did inside of this. I do like the, the hood, how the hood conforms to my face on the Artemis because it's kind of soft around here and it's not very stiff, the, the, the fabric. I can move pretty well and the hood stays with me. The moldable brim works really, really well. So I'm going to undo this. All of these hoods are a little bit fiddly undoing the adjustments, but adjustments work quite well keeping the keeping me sealed I never got any water in uh, in around the hood and I did sweat in here 
so you can see my face and head were sweating pretty well in there. See, there's that Artemis zipper jam because of the soft flap here. It's always jamming on me. Uh, let me take my tunes equipment out here for a second. And you can see that I pretty much overwhelmed the, uh, see all this wetness here. You can see that I pretty much overwhelmed. It's definitely not, it's definitely not coming through, right? It's brand new. Um, but this is the sweat that was transported outwards and not released through the fabric, through the water. See, so all of this, this is me on a one hour brisk hike walk. Um, overwhelming the nano pro membrane laminate so underneath this one under feels pretty dry so this transported the vapor out my dry climb transported out you can see where it all came out here and the fabric was unable to get the sweat out on a on a hike on a brisk hike that was uh, stayed about 40 degrees and it stayed a pretty pretty steady medium to light rain so you can see that these things can be um, overwhelmed. And that makes a really good case for those ventilated pockets as well as pit zips. So I'll be updating the blog after I get through this initial testing. I'll be updating the blog later with a couple backpacking trips that I'm going to do pretty soon. And we'll see about waterproofness and wetting out and how they perform on the trail. I'm off from second leg. It's, a, it's uh, two degrees warmer. It's 43 degrees instead of uh, instead of 41 degrees like it was earlier. The humidity. It's not really raining now. Although I got a, I got a little bit of rain. It just kind of rolls off this one. I think this, the DWR combined with this fabric is is pretty darn effective. But I'll have to try it in, a, in some heavy rain tomorrow. The brim is is wider. It's uh, it's interesting. A little bit different. Stiffer fabric, I think, makes for a little bit different feel in the hood, so I'll have to evaluate that too. Um, so I'm going to go for my one-hour walk and see how I, my, I can sweat out and overpower the uh, Gore-Tex Active in the Nano AS jacket that I'm wearing now. But I've got it cinched up like before. i got cinched up on the bottom and around here. I've got no pit zips, so we'll see what happens with this and uh, we'll take some video when I come back. I'm uh, 20 minutes into this walk with the uh, Marmot Nano AS and I'm working up a sweat. The humidity is still as high as it was before, about 90%, 95%. And um, the, it's not raining, but the temperature is 43 degrees instead of 41 degrees. So it's pretty similar conditions enough. Still got condensing breath <laughs> out here. So uh, so far pretty good. I think the Vortex Active is breathing pretty well, and uh, we'll see what happens through the rest of the hike and when I get back and peel off the layers and see what happens. Here I am again. I'm about uh, 36 minutes into the walk, and uh, humidity is still about 95%. It's not raining. Temperature's 43, 44 degrees, so, but uh, so far, feeling pretty good. The, uh, you know, the fabric's a little bit stiffer, but that I think that'll work in if I, uh, if I use it for a while. The hood is good. I'm zipped up in here, and we'll see when I get home and peel off the layers. We'll see if there's any comparison between the Artemis, so far the Artemis, and this the Nano AS in uh, how much I overwhelmed the capacity to dispel my sweat. I came back from uh, another hour walk under pretty much the same conditions, uh, except, except for no rain, the humidity was still 95%, 97%, um, and the temperature was 44 degrees, so it's three, three degrees warmer. Um, it, it worked out pretty well, so you can see, you can see that I got this sealed up here like before. I've got the pocket sealed, um, so I'm going to loosen this. I think the, the brim on the Nano AS that I'm wearing right now, it's pretty good. The moldable part works well. It's got a wider part up here 
Um, the hood is not as soft and movable, but it does move just about as well as um, the Artemis hood did. So that's that's pretty good. I do like these. I'll get closer here a little bit. I do like these up here better th than the Artemis. The Artemis, if you really want to adjust those easily, you have to open up this, pull on them, and then zip it back up again. Are, are you really going to want to do that during a downpour? I like this better where you can just adjust it right here, and then you're done, right, three or four times. You got the adjustment on the back. So, here, about the same sweating up through the head. Um, as I open this down through here, right, no pit zips. See what this looks like. And I can tell you that in comparison between, between this Nano AS and the Artemis, which has the Nano Pro membrane laminate, uh, I can tell you that there's a lot less retained sweat here. So I'm thinking that net, the Vortex Active, with its fabric construction, is actually breathing and releasing a lot more moisture. So this is definitely a lot less wet. You can go flip back and forth between the videos, but this is not nearly as wet as before. Um, under pretty much the same conditions, maybe slightly warmer. So uh, I think this breathes a lot better. So uh, my conclusion at the moment uh, I have some other tests to run. I'll, I'll, I'll do some updates. My conclusion is this thing does not need pit zips. This works as well as anything else I've had before uh, to dispel sweat through the membrane. Works as well as anything I've had before that had pit zips. So I'm not missing the pit zips on this. Um, if it's not raining heavily, you've got some, vent some extra ventilation here. I left these closed for, the, for this set of tests. Um, to, to try to overload the membrane's capacity to dispel uh, sweat because if, if you're really in pouring rain and you're overloading your, your backpacking and stuff, you're not going to have these open and venting out there. You're just going to have torrents of rain come pouring in your jacket. So that's one reason why I got these closed. Um, so with conditions and adjustments on this as much the, the same as the Artemis and the same as the other jackets that I'm testing. Um, my initial finding so far is that the Gore-Tex Active breathes better than the Nano Pro membrane laminate from, from Marmot, although I like it a lot. I hope this uh, works. I'm, a, I'm about 20 minutes into the walk, about the normal place. Some cars going by. Um, this is the Marmot Spectra jacket. This is the Marmot Spectra jacket, and uh, I'm as bundled up as before. I've tightened up uh, all the closures on this, and uh, I'm sweating pretty good. So we'll see what happens later on. So this is about, this is more than halfway through. This is at the top of the hill with the Marmot Spectra jacket with the Nano Pro coating, the new Nano Pro coating, uh, which is pretty good so far. You can see that there's no wet out there's no kind of wetting out on it, which is what you'd expect of uh, of uh, brand new DWR. So, so far pretty good. I'll be home pretty soon and we'll take the video of the strip down, like usual. And uh, we'll see what we find as far as uh, overwhelming the breathability capability of the Spectra jacket. So this is the Marmot Spectra jacket. It's the uh, Marmot Nano Pro coating. It's not the membrane laminate. Um, it seemed to work pretty well. It, it uh, felt felt good. It felt like it breathed. So we'll see in a minute what it looks like afterwards. Um, these pockets don't have mesh inside, uh, so there's no ventilation. Of course, I've got that closed off. I've got the skirt tightened down. The pit zips are not open. I've got these closed just like the other ones. And uh, the hood sits down. Now, I'll talk about hoods in more detail later on, but because of that helmet-compatible thing, um, the, this hood really doesn't fit well at all, and try as I might, I could not get it to fit properly um, with the adjustments. It's got the same adjustments, but the hood is just too big, and I got leaking inside around here, and I did not get that with the Artemis, and I did not get that with the uh, Nano AS, um, and I certainly 
as much as I like the REI Rainwall hood design, the way it fits and moves, the disadvantage of that design is, is I get leaking through here that I don't get with the Marmot design. So I think all in all, um, based on the, the other hoods, the Artemis and the Nano AS, those hoods work better, but I'll go into more detail on that later. Now I'll just kind of open everything up and we'll see what the overwhelming sweating looks like. To overwhelm the coating on this, breathability. So I'm gonna open up here, open up the hood a bit so it's easy to get off. Uh, and so I did sweat pretty good underneath there. And you can see that with the other ones, and you can see the you can see how wet this is, maybe not, but upon removing this, you can see that it's pretty wet. It's actually not too bad. Uh, it seems to have gotten a lot, pretty pretty wet over here. I think I got a little bit of water inside, but um, all around here, you can see it's pretty it's pretty wet. So it's the, that's got overwhelmed. The best coating, best uh, uh, waterproof breathable technology so far seems to be the Vortex Active uh, two and a half layer and the Nano AS. I'm going to test the Nano AS again to see if I can replicate that, really getting um, subjectively um, less sweating uh, water like this on the outside of the jacket. So we'll see what that happens. I'll, I'll do a quick update on that and uh, then I'll film my segments on the hoods. Uh, more specifically. This is uh, February 8th. I've got about uh, 48, 49 degrees and a kind of a steady light rain. So pretty good conditions to to do a follow-up test on this, the uh, Marmot Nano AS with uh, Gore-Tex Active. So it's been uh, about 22 minutes in. Uh, similar to Artemis. I don't know if you can see, the, the rain is still beating up. The DWR is intact on this after a week of wearing my sling pack. Whereas you can see that the Artemis uh, was wetting out across the shoulder. This seems to have a more durable DWR. I see just a couple of little drops wetting out there. But uh, it's very, very minor and definitely not across the chest. It's very, it's very minor compared to the Artemis, which I can see some real uh, hefty patches of wet out. So I'm going to continue my walk and the uh, usual strip down afterwards to see what, uh, what the jacket looks like. Here I am at the top of the hill at the highest point. I've been going for about uh, 30, 38, 40 minutes. Working up a pretty good sweat. It's still steady light rain, about 49 degrees. So it's really, really nice. Uh, so far I feel pretty good. Uh, if you can see, it's just a little bit of droplet wet out on there. Um, I'm going to try and test this with some more rain to see if it actually does do wet, wet out like the, uh, like the um, Artemis was doing. So, so far, this, uh, this has a great hood. The Nano AS is, is really great. We'll see what the, what the strip down looks like on the dry climb wind shirt to see if I can replicate better moisture transport out of the Gore-Tex Activent as constructed in the Nano AS. This is the retest of the Marmot Nano Pro AS with uh, Gore-Tex Active. So I've been on my standard walk that, uh, that you'll see that I've described before. I'm going to undo all of the tightening up here, simulate the same conditions, uh, supply your own music, and uh, we will take a look at the, my dry climb wind shirt and see what that looks like in a minute. As soon as I undo all of these high technology things here. There we go. So Sweaty, not too bad, I guess. It's felt pretty good. And again, 
there's no visible, I can feel some dampness in here, but there's no visible moisture wetness like on the uh, polyurethane coatings and laminates. And again, as you can see, I do not have nearly the same amount of sweating moisture through here. Not nearly. Not on the arms, the front, or the back. Uh, where's the back? I neglected to do that before. But uh, where the where the Nano Pro coating and the Nano Pro membrane laminate left this really pretty wet and soaked. Um, this is a, I can see the dampness, but I would call this damp, not not soaking wet like it was before. So definitely the after the retest, I have to conclude that the Gore-Tex Active and the construction, right, don't forget the construction of it, uh, with its particular two and a half layer uh, materials, has done a much better job of transporting my sweat out of the shell garment and off of this and away from me better than any of the other jackets.